Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup. And today we are reviewing uh, the DC Multiverse McFarlane Shriek, as well as the De Death Metal uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, we'll start with the one I'm least inclined to like or enjoy so far, but nonetheless, I do like it very much so. Much like the cyborg we got from him about last year, um, I do like the white and the transparent blue. It really makes it pop, and I like the little eye in, in the inside of that. That's just really nice. I've seen a lot of customs where people were adding more effects to make this thing, thing look weathered and everything. That's cool, too. A nice cool effect that I don't think you can use with any other figure because of the way they he holds it. Um, but it's a nice piece nonetheless. Um, I, I do like it. You know, Batman Beyond was an awesome series. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Articulation-wise, he's decent. Um, if you've owned one McFarlane figure, you've probably owned or done just about all of them. His range or articulation is probably just as about on par as everyone else. Um, nothing groundbreaking here, but nothing really bad either. I mean, honestly, you can look up pretty good, look down pretty good. His shoulders are not really impacted by all this extra plastic, which is shocking. Uh, I'm shocked he's still this white. Um, and, you know, the joints are, you know, stiff, but at the same time, not like to the point where you feel like you're going to break something. The only thing that's a little bit off is this knee pad here or this knee joint there. Uh, but it does look nice. I mean, it's a it's a nice figure. Um, I definitely do recommend this if you are trying to build that Joker. I was originally only going to get the Batman um, Beyond figure, but I saw this guy in stores. So I was like, man, he looks dope. Um, not only that, but he comes with the arms for this guy. And I can't, you know, pass this up. It just looks too good to not build. Um, so this will be the second Build a figure, I think I'll have. So I'll get the last two and call it a day and hopefully stop getting as many McFarlane figures. But if they keep making them as good, especially with characters I like, then I will. Um, I also really dig uh, this. This is Death Metal Wonder Woman. And um, just in case you're wondering, is, are they, is Top McFarlane Faithful? Yeah, that's the comic. I still have not read this yet. Um... Let's see, let's get another comic where you can see her face better. There we go. So they did a good job with the highlights and capturing the look. Can we please get this one, McFarlane? The Batgirl, the death metal Batgirl. She looks sweet. Um, so, yeah. All in all, you know, a pretty cool, you know, figure just looking at her, at her like that. Um, I did not care for any other figures in this line. Uh, the, the the Robin or the Superman or the Batman. I'm, I'm passing on all those. Yet, I did get this cycle, which I'm also going to throw in this review. Okay? That's like a bonus. So, anyway, um, she comes with a chainsaw sword thing, which is painted very well. Nice gold, black highlights. Um, she's got a nice wash on her bone uh, shoulder pad. The face is really beautiful, even though it's really somber. Um, the hair is just rock and rad, you know. Got that nice little death metal vibe. Uh, the legs are really nice. I mean, they really just did a great job. It's a beautiful figure. It is my favorite DC McFarlane female figure they've made yet. So I thought, I think he just flat out killed this one. Killed it. Killed it. Um, hard art articulations is, is decent. Um, you know, same thing as you see with just about everything else. The cape does kind of hinder a little bit. Um, and the shoulder pads do as well. Um, because of the hair and the shoulder pad sculpting, it can be hard to get them up a little bit more without it pinching. Um, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, but, and she also can't really lift her head up because of all this luscious hair back there. But I don't know how you fix that. Until these manufacturers figure out ways to actually um, figure out a lighter version of hair that's flexible, then we're always going to have that issue. So, we'll see. 
Um, last but not least, in this quick review, uh, oh, and if I had to get score out of him out of 10, he would be a 7.5, if not 8, for who he is. Uh, for this one, giving her a 9, just about perfect. And then we're going to review the Psycho real quick. So, um, I've had this for a very long time. It is fabulous. If you can still get it, please get it, because even if you don't put it on the Batman figure, it still looks really nice in general. Um, maybe one of these days I'll find the Batman on clearance, I'll get them, but otherwise I'll just have her riding it. Uh, pause. Uh, but yeah, she looks good on it too. Uh, let's uh, pause so I can see if I can get her on there. So as you can see, she looks good riding it too. Pause. Okay. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, dope. Dope. I would give the Bat Cycle a 10 out of 10. Uh, it is perfect for what it is. So yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this quick review. Until next time, peace and chicken grease.